Hello, everyone. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. When you are working on your company's computer or your home computer, you may face this issue when you are trying to run certain program or install certain program. You got this prompt. It's called the User Account Control Prompt. It asks you to enter an admin username and password. So if you have admin password, yes, you can enter it. But if you are on your company computer, you probably won't be able to do it without call your help desk or service desk. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to bypass it, and then you can run your program using your standard username and password without elevating your privilege to administrator level. So now let's start it. Now let's go through the situation you usually meet for this kind of UAC prompt. You go to SamZip website because you need a program to unzip your files. So then you find this download zip link, you just download it. There's no problem with download, it's a legit program. So after Windows scan it. You should be able to find it from your download folder. Let's move to desktop to make it simple, easy to use. If you look at the icon, you will see this uh, blue and yellow shield on this 7 zip icon, which is UAC enforced on this program. So, which means when you double click, this UAC window is going to ask you the admin username and the password. Assuming you don't have it, because by default you are standard user, just like me, and the Windows user 1 is a normal user. This is a Windows 10 system, I'm in a domain, so by default this UAC feature has been enabled. So what you can do right now, if you don't have the password but you want to run this program, here is a simple fix. You just need to create a new text file. And in the text file, type those two commands in. First one, set compact layer to run as the invoker. And second is to start this program. You put this text file as same as your exe file downloaded. There's one thing you need to do, you need to change change extension. So we enable name extension. You can change from txt file to BAT file. which allow us to run it directly. Now you just need to double click on it, run the BAT, then it's going to ask you where to install this 7-zip file. Here is the thing, even you bypass that at the main UAC prompt, you won't be able to copy the file on to the system folder because that's what admin permission needed. We don't have that permission. But for us, actually we can put into a different folder. For example, we can create a tools folder. And then we can create the 7-zip folder here and then we can put our program inside this folder. So let's run it again. Change the folder to Tools 7-zip. We're going to install our program into this folder. We don't need to create a new subfolder there. So this folder we have full permission to write, to read. So that's why we can install it. So there's no problem for us to do that. 
As you can see, even without UAC prompt, without admin username, password, using our current standard username password, we are able to run this program. That's why we need to use this script to set the compact layer to run as invoke and then just suppress that UAC prompt. But actually, when we are running it, we are still running on a standard user permission. We didn't elevate our admin permission. So the reason why we see that, we should be able to see from the details. If you look at the elevated column, if you don't see this column, you can select columns here and just check this elevated. Let the 7 zap installation program. Let's put our admin username password and see when what happens if we put the admin user and the password name in. So this time I'm going to type my admin account. And you see this column shows it's elevated. So now this is running on the elevated admin user. But the original one, we only suppressed that UIC prompt. We didn't elevate our permission to the admin level. That's the difference. But it helps us for our daily work. When you need something, you just put this command in. And then you are able to install your files and run your programs you need it. I hope this command helps you in your daily work if you need something and you don't have a domain username and password and you don't really break your security policy because you are running your program under your standard username and password thank you for watching if you like this video give me some up if you haven't subscribed my channel please do that will give me great support see you in my next video Thank you.